true. That's right, everybody. I used to be hella emo. Mm. <laughs> I used to be incredibly emo. Uh, well, as emo as someone can be in Australia, where it's super hot all the time. <laughs> I used to be really emo back in 2007 slash 2008. Those were my prime emo years. 2007 and 2008 was uh, grade seven and eight for me. So it was the end of primary school and the start of high school. And I don't really know what started it, what caused it, what triggered the emo to come out, but it, it came out full force. It was a great time, but it was also a really bad time. You know, generally I was a pretty sad person. You know, I was very angsty. I was a teenager, I had all these feelings and I didn't know what to do with them. So they, they were expressed through uh, style choices. <laughs> and today I'm gonna be trying to recreate a little bit of that look with the makeup that I currently have, which is not that much stuff Hmm. I used to wear so much jewelry. I had all these big chunky wristbands covered in spikes and I would wear like all of them at the same time. <laughs> I don't own them anymore, uh, surprisingly, so those will not be making a feature. I don't think I own anything from back in those days, so I'm just gonna do my best with what I have. While I put on some makeup, I was thinking we could reminisce together about uh, emo stuff. So basically I'm just gonna be doing a lot of, a lot of black uh, around my eyes. I have this color and this color. I'm gonna just try things. I'm not a makeup whiz, I'm just gonna do my best. So I'm gonna start with a red base and then put black over the top. That's gonna be my my approach. Also, I do already have just like a, a layer of BB cream on. I don't really like wearing foundation that often because it's uh, my skin's very sensitive. It, it cries out in the form of acne, so here we go. The first emo music I ever listened to was My Chemical Romance. I heard Welcome to the Black Parade on the radio. That first, that first night of Welcome to the Black Parade and I was like, oh, well this is excellent. I was like, what song is this? So I looked up the song on, on YouTube, I think it was, and it just opened my whole world to emo stuff. I finally found like, wow, this is something that I'm really interested in, I love the music, I, it, like this is all I can remember by the way, it's been so long that I can't remember every detail, but. I don't even know if the red, there was any point to the red, but you know what, I'm learning, it's fine. So after I had this whole transformation at home where I knew the kind of thing that I wanted to be into and I was like understanding and learning about the world of emo, I was just so, so excited and so happy. And I went to school and I started telling people I was like, guys, I'm I'm emo now. Guys, I'm I'm emo. Did you know I like I, I I'm totally emo now. And at that point everybody knew that it wasn't like cool to be emo at that point. People weren't that uh, nice about it. <laughs> I kinda understand, you know, if someone comes to school and they're like, guys, I'm emo, it's like, well, I think I already felt a little bit misunderstood at, at school and in life, and I think Becoming emo made me feel accepted more in some ways, but also kind of rejected more in other ways. And so it was, yeah, just an interesting time in life where I just became pretty sad. But through this whole time, I started discovering more music. You know, I was so obsessed with uh, Panic at the Disco. I know they're not like the most emo band out there, but they, I think they represent part of the emo era, <laughs> you know? I started out with the with the easier ones like My Chemical Romance, Fall Out Boy, Panic and Disco, All Time Low, you know, very like pop punk. And I think gradually over time I started moving over to heavier stuff. I remember I went to go see so many Parkway Drive concerts. I loved Parkway Drive. And also uh, Bring Me the Horizon. Excellent. A lot of fallout with this kind of might have to redo some foundation. Feels weird without eyebrows. <laughs> if anybody here is from Brisbane, I uh, I used to sit outside of Hungry Jack's. That was that's like a, I guess a little a little claim to fame. For general information, in Brisbane we have a Hungry Jack's in the the city area in Central. And all the emos, I don't know if they still do, but they used to go and sit out the front of Hungry Jack's. And I was one of the Hungry Jack's emos. Any any Brisbane viewers? I wasn't there all the time, I was, a, I was an irregular. But I did go and chill there. So I went through primary school, and I graduated and went to high school, and I was still pretty, pretty dang emo. 
Uh, and gradually I turned a bit more seen, you know, added a bit more color into my palette. You know, I didn't have the best time at the start of high school. I had some really, really good friends, but I also had, mm, I, I wasn't the, the easiest person to talk to. Um, I was still, you know, dealing with a lot of self discovery. So, I mean, aren't we all all the time, but you know, going through puberty, I wasn't super easy to approach and talk to or something. I don't know. But I remember I used to feel so defensive all the time. I used to be so worried about people coming up and like making fun of me. When I was a young boy, my father. Worst thing about 2020 this is my chemical romance had to cancel because in 2008 I was supposed to go see my chemical romance and I had to cancel because I had my first ever drama show, which ended up like helping me get into theatre stuff and then shaped the rest of my future, which was great. That happened. And then I was supposed to see them in 2010 or something, and then they had to cancel the tour, so I didn't see them then. And now I was finally gonna see them for the first time in my life. Couldn't see them, because they had to cancel again. And then maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe if I see them, I'll cry so hard that I just pass away. So, you know what? Maybe it's all for the best, but still very, 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 very sad. Also, if you guys ever come to Tokyo and you're a little bit emo, they have a great selection of emo music at karaoke. You should just go to karaoke and sing all your favorite. You could have emo karaoke night. Doesn't that sound great? So at school, we had this camp in grade 10 where you get sent away for a month. And you get sent basically to the middle of nowhere, outback Australia, and you have to learn how to survive. You go on big hikes, you support each other, you cook for each other and yourselves. You have like 24 hours where you're alone in the forest and you have a little tent and you reflect on life and stuff. It's really great. Uh, don't know how health and safety wise it is now, like if it's still allowed, but it was absolutely wonderful. During that month, you're not allowed to wear makeup or wear any like fashionable clothes or anything. You're in the middle of nowhere. So everybody in my grade was kind of stripped down to being their core selves. You know, they we didn't have makeup to hide behind or, or clicks or anything, we all had to work together and we really got to know each other super well, which I think was my saving grace because it meant that people got to know the real me rather than feeling worried about what I was wearing and everything and we got to have really good conversations. And after that point, I kind of started to, to move away from being super alternative. I still was, but I just kind of added in a little bit more color here and there and I, I had other friends as well and I kind of just went a little bit more chill with everything. And after that point, I was like, ah, oh, being emo was just a phase. Being emo was just a phase and I'm totally fine now. That part of my life is over. I'm free, it's all good. And gradually since then, I've just realized that emo isn't really a phase. <laughs> as cliche as that is. It's always a part of me. I, I haven't stopped listening to the music. You know, I still have crushes on, on emos, even though I'm like, eh, probably wouldn't go well together. I still, I still can't help it. I still, I'm kind of in the phase. Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to just clean up my face. Look at that. I've got dark all over it. Hold on. So a lot of people do like black lipstick and I did in the past do black lipstick. I don't really want to do black lipstick. I don't, I didn't ever did it that often. And I feel like it's, it's very heavy. I feel like that's more goth. So I, I, I kind of want to leave the lips a little bit more plain, I think. There. I don't know. It's not as emo, but I know that I, I really rarely ever wore black lipstick. Anyway, I need to figure out how to do this hair because this is my new hair where it's short. Oh yeah, if we just keep it in front of the eye, that's pretty good. <laughs> I really wanted to go for it. We could go even lower. Do like a... <laughs> I need to get out of these pale clothes. Oh God, I hate this fringe, but that's that's pretty much what it used to look like. I used to really, I used to really like paste it. Look at that. Okay, I need to go put on some black real quick. Let me get out of this, this get up.
Guilty! Okay, so this is the final look. <laughs> I actually quite like it with my hair pulled back. I actually, I actually kind of like having my face out now. Also, the only clothes I felt really captured the emo essence is a. Uh, this is my hundred gex shirt. Gotta see the back. A thousand gex. And then I have this choker from when I was at university, I think. I love it. I miss, I miss being emo in, in some ways, you know, I don't, I don't miss being so sad, but I think the fashion was just excellent. Now it's like e-boys, right? It's e-boys and e-girls. Well, thank you very much for coming and watching uh, Emo Emma. Maybe you'll see a little bit more of her, not as emo, but the essence of emo within. <laughs> you know, that sounds like a very emo thing to say. But thank you so much for being interested in uh, in my emo journey. And please, uh, if you have any emo pictures, I love to see them. Uh, maybe tag me on Instagram or something or in a story. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, or hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye from emo Emma, and I'll see you in the next video. Janet.